Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Green's theorem. In this session, we are going to verify Green's theorem for a given problem. Verify Green's theorem for the given question where C is the boundary of the area between y equal to x and y equal to x square. We know the statement of Green's theorem integral over C P dx plus Q dy is equal to double integral over R dou Q by dou x minus dou p by dou y dy dx. So let us write p and q as usual. Write the given content as my step 1. So we have to find p and q. p is xy plus y square and q is going to be x square. Next in Green's theorem it is very important to view the diagram. Without the diagram we cannot solve. Since in the case of Stokes and Gauss divergence theorem we have the contents only for cubes and parallelopipe, it is very easy for us to coin the limits and solve the problems. But here Green's theorem we have a different equation. See here we have y equal to x and y equal to x square. So let us draw the diagram. So we take step 2 as region. For us given equations are y equal to x and y equal to x square. Substitute y equal to x in y equal to x square. We get x equal to x square. Therefore x square minus x equal to 0. Taking x in common we get the answer x equal to 0 and 1. Now we are going to find the intersection point between the two lines y equal to x and y equal to x square in our usual way. So take y equal to x. Since we have the points x equal to 0 and x equal to 1, substitute here we get y equal to 0 and y equal to 1. Therefore the line y equal to x passes through 0, 0 and 1, 1. Next we take y equal to x square. For this also two points are known to us. So x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. When you substitute here we get y equal to 0 and y equal to 1 respectively. Therefore the curve y equal to x square do you remember students? It is a parabola open top that is x square equal to y. In general we say x square equal to 4ay. Now this parabola passes through the point 0, 0, 1, 1. From this information let us draw the diagram. First we take x axis and y axis. Just now we found both the curve passes through two points 0, 0, 1, 1. Let us name this as O and the point 1, 1 as A. 0, 0 and A, 1, 1. One. Since the line y equal to x passes through these two points, I can draw a straight line like this and I can label this as y equal to x. The next one is x square equal to y is the parabola open top. We can easily draw the parabola and label this as y equal to x square. Now we can see this is the closed region formed by the two curves y equal to x and y equal to x square. So let us shade it and we are going to use the anti-clockwise direction to solve the problem. So let us mark the directions. Now the diagram is ready. Next step 3 as usual we have to write the statement of the Green's theorem. Integral over C P dx plus Q dy that is equal to double integral over R dou Q by dou x minus dou P by dou y dy dx. First we are going to evaluate RHS and then we will evaluate the LHS. So step 4 is going to be RHS. To find RHS we have to calculate dou Q by dou x minus dou P by dou y and we have to find the limits. Let us do one by one. We have P is equal to xy plus y square and Q is equal to x square. Now differentiating P partially with respect to y we get x plus 2y and differentiating q partially with respect to x we get 2x. Next we have to find dou q by dou x minus dou p by dou y. It is going to be 2x minus of x plus 2y. So we get x minus 2y. Next we have to find the limits with the help of the diagram. Just recall from multiple integrals. Either I can choose a vertical strip or a horizontal strip to solve the problem. Here I am going to choose the vertical strip. It is not necessary. You can choose the horizontal strip x as variable and y as constants. So I am choosing a vertical 
strip making y as my variable so vertical strip moves from bottom to top therefore my y limits are going to be y equal to x square to y equal to x because it is moving from bottom to top next we have to find the x limits since y limits are variable x limit is going to be the constant from the figure it is easy to find the minimum value of x is 0 and the maximum value is 1 therefore x equal to 0 to x equal to 1 is the limit for x then students now we have to integrate this substitute the limits here y limits are variable and x limits are constant so i can substitute this integrating this we get xy minus 2y square by 2 my limits are x square to x now this 2 to get cancel so it will be xy minus y square upper limit is x lower limit is x square substituting the upper limit we get x square minus x square so both will get cancel minus lower limit is going to be x into x square minus x square whole square that is x cube minus x power 4 multiplying the minus inside we get x power 4 minus x cube into dx integral over 0 to 1 integrating this we get x power 5 by 5 minus x power 4 by 4 substituting the limits we get 1 by 5 minus 1 by 4 taking lcm we have 4 minus 5 by 20 therefore my solution is minus 1 by 20 so rhs is going to be minus 1 by 20 next we are going to calculate lhs that is my step 5 integral over c p dx plus q dy c is the closed curve it is made up of two curves one is y equal to x square the other one is y equal to x so now the closed curve p dx plus q dy we have to solve for each curve so i am taking along oa and along abo p dx plus q dy we have to evaluate one by one so this is going to be my first integral and this is my second integral so let us take along oa along oa the curve is y equal to x square and the direction is like this so y equal to x square then dy is equal to 2x into dx i am going to convert all my y into x therefore from the figure it is easy to find the limits of x is 0 to 1 because of the direction is in anti-clockwise o to a done the equation is y equal to x square dy equal to 2x dx and the limits are x equal to 0 to 1 next we have to find p dx plus q dy because it consists of both x and y for line integral we need only one variable so substituting y equal to x square and dy equal to 2x dx we get x into x square plus x square whole square dx the second term x square into 2x dx simplifying this we get x cube plus x power 4 plus 2x cube dx therefore we can write this as 3x cube plus x power 4 dx so my pdx qdy ready limits are ready next we have to evaluate along oa pdx plus qdy the limits are 0 to 1 3x cube plus x power 4 dx integrating this we get 3x power 4 by 4 plus x power 5 by 5 substituting the upper and lower limits we get 3 by 4 plus 1 by 5 using your calculator or by lcm you can found the answer as 19 by 20 next we have to calculate over the curve AO. Along AO, the equation is y equal to x. So we can write dy equal to dx. And the direction is from A to O. I am going to convert all the y in terms of x. So my limits are going to be 1 to 0. So x equal to 1 to x equal to 0. So equation is y equal to x, dy equal to dx. Now substitute this in pdx plus qdy. So we get x into x x square plus x square dx then x square into 
dx. We get 3x square dx. Now we have to integrate this. Integral 1 to 0 because the limit is x equal to 1 to 0. 3x square dx. Integrating this, we get 3x cube by 3, 1 to 0. So, 0 minus 1, we get minus 1. Therefore, Along AO, the answer is minus 1. Therefore, the line integral over C PDX plus QDY is going to be 19 by 20 minus 1. So, we get minus 1 by 20. My RHS is minus 1 by 20 as well as my LHS is minus 1 by 20. Hence, Green's theorem is verified. Hope you understand students. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.